Got an old Sega Master System here. Me and my nephew was playing some Double Dragon on the other night. The color fizzled, started going away, and went to black and white, and the game froze up. The LED was flickering, and then it was dead. So I tried another power adapter, didn't fix it. So I got researching online and found out the first thing to check is going to be this 7805 uh, voltage regulator. I checked the voltage, it had like 13 volts coming in to the I side and the O side had uh, like 0.59 volts whereas should be 5 volts coming out of it. Um, I tested it here with my little multimeter. Uh, you just set it on a DC 20 volts is what I did and put the black lead on the center post of the, you know it's got three posts to 7805 uh, so you put your black one on the C black lead and the red lead on the I and I had the uh, 13 some volts showing and then I put the black on the C and the red on the uh, O and had 0 0.59 showing so I figured this might be the issue I didn't see no capacitors that looked you know blown or anything like that so this is one of the first master systems from uh, in made in Japan 1986 so I want to get it back working nice clean system and instead of ordering one I had an old NES laying around and I found out that it uses basically the same uh, 7805 voltage regulator so I Instead of ordering some, I'm just going to take this one out since years ago I messed this NES up trying to solder a Mario board directly to it to make an arcade machine. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to unsolder that, unsolder this, put it in, put it back on the heat sink, solder it in, see if that fixes this thing, gets power back to it anyway. Well, I got the master system back together. I've got the NES 7805 out the voltage regulator put a little dab of arctic silver on there just for the heck of it probably don't matter um, and got it plugged in LED comes on now so I hope it works well I'm happy to say the NES 7805 voltage regulator seem to have fixed this old made in Japan master system, one of the early master systems. Here it's got this uh, snail maze game built into it, the system, which is always a great bonus. That was a pretty cool thing to have in it, and, you know, in 1986. Now I'm going to try the game that it done it on the other day, Double Dragon. See if it works. Power it off. alive so anyway um, master system if you have a master system that won't power on or it goes off in the middle of playing it, a game, then it's most likely the uh, 7805 voltage regulator, which is found over in this left-hand side of the system. Uh, 
so I hope this can be of help to some of you. I, I at first thought it might be a uh, um, <clears throat> power supply issue, but uh, was turned out to be that voltage regulator. And as I said, I used one out of an NES. Now, one thing you can't use on these is do not use the power supply of the NES because it's like a AC and this uses DC so if you do that it blows the voltage re regulator every time that's usually what happens to the voltage regulators but this one just died with old age I guess uh, didn't show no signs of wear but you know I test it with the multimeter as I showed earlier so I always use either a 9 volt DC original Genesis adapter or the Master System original adapter uh, on these old systems. The later generation Genesis systems had 10 volt adapters which I don't know I think that would probably work as well um, but because your voltage regulator after I read online actually it just prevents the system from being over getting too much voltage fed into it because one side's 13 volts coming into it the other side 5 volts goes out so you should still be safe with a 10 volt Sega Genesis uh, power adapter I would think as long as the plug fits but anyway hope this could was of help to some people Thanks for watching.